Hello, stranger. We are going to watch today Germany Explained. It was uploaded two weeks ago, got already a hundred thousand views. But what is there to explain about Germany? We love bread, football and beer and we're good at engineering. So we don't need to watch the video. Let's watch it anyway. Germany is mentioned so much in pop culture and politics that you might think is one of the countries you know the most about. But let's face it, 99% of that information is World War II, beer and let Exactly. Everybody just talks so about the war. Deutschland, as the local populace calls it, hence here are the most important facts about Germany that you were missing. And in the spirit of the people inhabiting the country, we're going to do the explanation efficiently. That's how all Germans dance, by the way. Germany including is myself. Large. Ranking 7th in Europe in terms of landmass at 357, 386 kilometers squared. But even more so regarding the population, where it finds itself. He tells us how big it is, but he doesn't tell us how many football fields. Not realistic. Third on the continent with 83.2 million people, just edged by second place Turkey. Yet Germany is the most populous European country, if you exclude the two continents spanning Turkey at 84 and Russia at 155 million people. There's a big drop off after it on the old continent, with France and the UK having 67.8 and 67 million people, respectfully. Also, it's worth mentioning that our channel doesn't have anywhere near 67 million subscribers. So to help us with this very realistic goal, you should hit that subscribe button below. On a world map, Germany is 63rd in size and 19th when looking at the numbers of citizens. Located 19. right in Central Europe, Germany has the second most borders of any country in Europe. After Russia, of course. Boasting nine neighbors, sharing its longest border with the Czech Republic at 817 kilometers and Austria as a close second at 801 kilometers. Besides these two countries on the east and southeast, Germany also splits borders with Switzerland, France, Luxembourg, Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark and Poland. We actually covered quite a few of these neighbors in our videos already and you find those links down at the description. At its south end, Germany stopped That's Heidelberg. the of the Alps. I've been living there for a year. North sea Beautiful. At its northwest and the Baltic Sea to the northeast. Part of the latter is even called the German Riviera, as it's the vacation region of the country, with a rare combination of old Gothic towns that also offers walks on sandy beaches. Although it might not look so on the map, but Germany has a coastline of 2,389 kilometers, which is actually more than Portugal, even though most of us associate what? this country with sunshine and blue horizons. Yet Germany had them beat up with the help of the indented coastline and quite a bit of small and not so small islands. Didn't we tell you? Yeah, but honestly, you can only go bathing in the sea there in like summer for one month, four and a half months. Otherwise, it's too cold. Germany has some surprises. Geographers still do like using Germany as a typical example of a common occurrences in typography, which is a study of the forms and features of land surfaces. As going from the coastline downwards, um, south, that Bavaria. Is, please forgive us elementary school geography teachers of our past, we know that south is south and not downwards. Okay. The territory depicts a common theme from across the earth. Beaches turn into green fields sporadically colored with lakes, rivers and swamps, which in turn, after many kilometers on the Alpaban, turn into hills separated by the scenic valleys decorated with creeks and rivers. These hills start rising until they start creating lush green highlands before culminating with the status of mountains. On an organizational state level, Germany is a federal republic consisting of 16 states who hold a degree of sovereignty. Berlin, the capital and the largest city, and Hamburg, the second most populous city, are granted a status and are commonly known as city-states. Alongside the free Hanseatic city of Bremen, which sounds like something from Game of Thrones, as the least populous state Game basically of consists of two enclaves due to its history. While the largest and most well-known state is Bavaria, roughly the size of the Republic of Ireland at 70,552 kilometers squared. Yet the agricultural economic powerhouse Bavaria in the southeast isn't the most populous federal state in Germany. That title goes to the North Rhine-Westphalia with 17,922,570 people, which in terms of proper European countries would have put her over their western neighbors, the Netherlands, most densely populated country in the European Union, as we mentioned in her most successful video yet on the North mm. Holland. But the German state to their east is even smaller in size, making it very compactly populated, seeing how four of Germany's ten most populated cities are located in yeah, the state. Yeah, there's just city next to city next to city. Essen, it's not hard to see why. 
While there are six federal states with no city larger than 280k, Berlin, the fifth most populous city in Europe and the capital of Germany, is primarily known as the culture center of the country and of the continent when it comes to electronic music and modern arts. Ooh. <laughs> Having a continental climate with cold snowy winters and hot summers, Germany also experiences quite a bit of overcast during the year, especially the northern area due to the effect of the Atlantic Ocean. The more south and the more east you go, the populace gets more sunshine per year. Yet even in the eastern located Berlin, there are 139 rainfall days. Still, that didn't stop German tourists from having 39 million international arrivals in 2019. Similar to the whole of... Yeah, you don't go to Germany for the weather. You come here for the pretzels? You come to Berlin to party and you go South Germany for hiking or the Oktoberfest, you know, looking at castles, that kind of stuff. Seemingly much more popular UK. Well, the festivals like the Oktoberfest in Munich and the notoriety for Greetes, beer and sausages in the world do the heavy lifting. Yet Germany has a lot more to offer outside of its urban centers. Fairy tale like castles across the land, exactly. many big rivers like the Rhine, Main, Danube and Elbe used for cruises, and the Alps boosting the country's highest peaks with a Zugspitze, Rhine in supreme at 2962 meters. After hiking Zugspitze. And in these areas, one could go for strong flavored German food, the Bratwurst, Sauerkraut and many many kinds of cheese. Germany now that's, boosts a very distinct food offering. As that's cheese? <laughs> he called cheese, but there's the cheese. Germany now boosts a very distinct food offering, as some estimates suggest that one in every ten German citizen comes originally from a foreign country, with Turks and Poles as the most. I would say it's even more. Somewhat Probably thirty percent compared to UK and France. Germany is still quite a religious country, with sixty-six percent Christian population. That's not true. Twenty twenty-two, and this video was released uh, this year. There is actually more people not belonging to a religion than they are. So more than 50% of the population is not member of any church or uh, how do you call that for Muslims? Member of a mosque? I don't know. But yeah, very bad research. 66 Christianity? Wrong. Split almost equally between the Catholics and the Protestants. 6.9% Muslims and 26.3% unaffiliated. Yet, That's so bad. So strange, bad research. Considering Germany is the birthplace of Protestantism, but also because it has been, for the longest time, the spiritual successor of the Roman Empire. But we need to back up quite a bit. Germanic tribes originating from the southern end of Scandinavia populated the lands we've been examining around 500 BC, eventually becoming a threat to the Roman Empire, with the legions attempting and failing conquering the dark forests of the Great Germany. Yet part of western and southern Germany did get included in the vast Roman Empire, but the whole of western Roman Empire fell to Germanic tribes by the end of the 6th century AD, following the great barbarian invasions and migrations, which resulted in Germanic tribes ending up pretty much everywhere in Europe. Yeah, they built actually, the Romans, they built a huge wall to keep out the barbarians of the Roman Empire. It's located in Baden-Württemberg, the, the state, the federal state where I grew up. And it's called the Limes. If you want to know more about that, that's pretty interesting. The Roman Empire built a huge wall, like the Chinese wall, but much smaller, uh, to keep out the barbarians because they were scared of them. Too many tribes to be listening to this introductory video, yet they are the reason why there are so many different words for the same country. Unlike for Italy, England or Russia, who we all call similarly with the same root of the word. But the Scandinavians call Germany, Tyskland, the English, well, Germany, and the French, Alemagna. And most Eastern European nations as a variation of the word Nemetz. And the Dutch, Deutschland. Franks, one of these He wrote Germanic Deutschland wrong. Variation of the word Niemzi. And the Dutch, Deutschland. Oh, not the Dutch call us Deutsch. Oh, it's just uh, one letter from Franks, one of these groups of Germanic people, became the most powerful kingdom on the ashes of the Western Roman Empire. It's this domain that served as the basis for the Holy Roman Empire, a conglomeration of political entities, states, cities that lasted for nearly 1,000 years with varying borders, but usually holding most parts of what is today Germany. The loosely tied organization ended with Napoleonic Wars, yet those lit the nationalistic fervor across the states, leading eventually to the founding of the German Empire in 1871, having the country be so young and so old at the same time. The 20th century... Yeah, German was 
one of the last countries in the European continent to unite. These were all like different kingdoms. Here, kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. And yeah, in the late 1800 something. So they had to unite because they knew if they, they wouldn't unite the German kingdoms, the other countries would just grab one kingdom after another. Um, and then the German, the Germans would be part of all the other kingdoms. One, having a country be so young and so old at the same time. The 20th century is what most people know Germany for, and losing two world wars in which it was the aggressor. After the Second World War, the victorious allies divided Germany into eastern and western parts, which were then again reunited in 1990 after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Despite massive losses in the 20th century, Germany remains an industrial powerhouse of the world and a synonym for perfectly engineered, well, anything, but especially cars. One of the strongest what economies is this? This is all cars from Germany? We don't have that many car brands, do we? I don't know half of them. Do you? Lloyd? That doesn't sound German. Well. One of the strongest economies of the world, Germany uses Euro as its currency since 2002 and before the national money was called the Deutschmark. Its distinctive flag of black, red and gold, technically older than the country itself, and the anthem is called Deutschlandlied, the song of the Germans. In many ways, what? Germany is the country of extremes, from the plains to the Alps, from Never the free flowing the german stereotype that is Berlin, to the industrial lands in the West. Hopefully we convinced you that there is so much more to Germany than what is usually mentioned. And we didn't even get to mention Beethoven, Bach, and Einstein. All the philosophers. Well, yeah, this was a nice little video. He covered a lot of topics, explained basically how it looks here. Um, but he has so much more to cover, especially like science, philosophy, poetry. Yeah, as he mentioned. And he did some uh, very bad research errors, like, you know. But hey, keep them coming. Explain the world to us. Countries explained. Go to, go to his channel, subscribe to him. So he feels motivated and does more. Wow, it's a pretty new channel. Well, keep them coming if you watch this. Countries explained. But keep your facts straight. And you, stranger, I will see you tomorrow in another video.